latest season of Stranger Things. Well, it brought the Gwinnett Place Mall to life, transforming it back into the 1980s. That was the heyday of malls, but now malls, we all know they're dead. Just like it was in the show, Gwinnett Place Mall used to be the place, uh, used to be one of Gwinnett County's premier shopping destinations, and now the empty mall is up for sale. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson has new information about the, what the future of that 39 acre site could hold. 562,000 square feet of mall space is for sale. Everything but the Macy's and the Mega Mart. We're in a prime location and many believe there is a lot of potential for this property. It was a good mall, but not no more. Gwinnett Place Mall is now for sale, though there's no set asking price. I think it's probably worth two million. For the area, I can say 2.5 mil, something like that, yeah. The listing agent, Collier's International, may be hoping for a bit more. I asked Senior Vice President Tony D'Ambrosio about the property's potential. Sort of the sky's the limit, you know, is there a residential component? Is there a commercial component? Is there an entertainment, sports venue component? We went inside today and found many of the stores closed. A mall so unoccupied that in 2017, a woman was found dead inside the food court, two months after being reported missing. There's not too many stores there. It's like an abandoned mall. But the mall got renewed attention when Netflix hit Stranger Things started filming there. Star Court Mall. The main shopping group has in the past always been teenagers and teenagers are now digital natives. They're For insight on the decline of enclosed shopping malls, we went to Ellen Dunham Jones, a professor at Georgia Tech who specializes in architecture and urban design. We've lost about a third of the 1,500 properties that at one time in the U.S. were an enclosed mall. And yet folks are buying them and reusing them in a lot of different ways. I mean, it's a good piece of property. I mean, it's in a good place. D'Ambrosio tells me he believes the property will attract a lot of eyeballs and predicts it will sell fairly soon. But it won't be years. It may be months, but not years. D'Ambrosio tells me in one to two weeks, his team will start a more formal marketing process. In Gwinnett County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.